Well, it's time, folks. It's time. You know what it is? No. Not a room full of cards. Although it kind of is a room full of cards. It's time, folks, for the flesh and blood. Arcane Unlimited Edition box. Case sale, blah, blah, blah. So in this video, we're going to talk about a little bit of the market conditions and what's going on, how I feel about the unlimited printing boxes. Um, here, hold on. How I feel about the unlimited printing boxes, uh, this particular kit, um, kind of the last minute changes that were made to this kit to help more people actually be able to acquire the kit versus having a kit with three boxes. We went with two, but we actually cut the quantity of boxes per kit so we can actually offer it to more people and patrons due to the increased continuing demand on the product. And um, uh, first, we're going to start with the box itself. Then, of course, I know, I know, I know. Everybody wants to get to all the fancy promos. I know, I know. So, um, I want to go over a couple things here. Unlimited Arcane Edition. So, first of all, these particular boxes are not rare. These are not going to be... I, I don't consider these really that collectible or investable. And um, I, I really caution against that. I don't, I don't look at anything. Unlimited was designed by Legend Story Studios and Flesh and Blood. The whole goal of this particular product is that it would be readily available. Similar, I know, some of you are out there, everyone says the same thing to me. Well, Rudy, they said the same thing about magic. Look at the unlimited. Well, okay, that's fine if you want to look at it that way. In my opinion, these are designed for the players in the box prices to kind of not go out of control to two, $300 a box or $2,000 a box for the first edition. You know, obviously no first edition stamp on the back. And of course, the very bold red unlimited stamp on the... Uh, on the sides and the top of the box. And it's also on the individual booster packs also, just so everybody knows. So if you're buying loose packs, it'll also be on there. So although the market price has continued to kind of swing around, um, I've been following this more than I follow the first edition boxes. First edition is just like Pokemon. You know, people, first edition is all about collectors and evil investors. And, you know, that, that's great and all. But at the end of the day, the health of the game is going to be directly derived from the value of the unlimited boxes and the demand for this. If, if you see demand and these things collapse too, you know, down to below the map price it manufactured, you know, minimum except minimum advertised price thing. If, it, if these things collapse in price, then you know the player base is not there. The game is, is going gonna, is gonna to start trending in a bad direction. So it's very important when you follow CCGs to follow the, the player-based type products. And I consider the unlimited edition the player-based type thing. So that's what I want to say. So my thought process here today, folks, was I actually um, originally designed... These on this this particular batch. Remember, there will be more arcane and you know, welcome to Wraith. And all these products, more of them will be coming in. Um, I think like February. Then there'll be like one or two more waves from now till the big Monarch release, which is four months away. So be. I don't think these box prices are really going to tank. I don't think they're going to go really higher. I think they're just going to stay where they are, which is bouncing around what between a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars a box. They bounce around on the open market of eBay and TCG. It'll just swing up and down depending when stores get their product. They dump it versus when they're waiting for the next wave. And I think, I think, you know, I can argue both sides. You have to. I'd like to point out. I think hundred dollars a box is a good price, but I know it's still above the eighty, ninety that people want to pay. But one fifty is too high. You know, we can argue it, but you have to understand, everybody. When the market prices a box, it's a, it's a pretty much. A, it's a formula and a solution being popped out of the formula based on the market demand and also the value of the cards in the set. The box prices are escalated because of higher demand and also because the currently, which this could change and I think it will change, listen very carefully, currently the value of the single cards in the box are elevated higher than where they should be for unlimited. Now, of course, Fabled and Legendaries, even the Rainbow versions are still going to maintain probably a very, very higher escalated price due to just the rarity. But keep that in mind. Because when the secondary market singles are still that high, like I know a couple stores in like Georgia, Florida, they actually got a couple cases. They got like 40, 50 boxes of Arcane Unlimited in, and they sold like one, a couple boxes to their loyal customers, but they opened all of them just to sell singles. And that is another reason why you're seeing the sealed box price stay very strong because, again, people are, the stores are starting to get the product. And similar to Magic back in like the Gate Crash era and RTR era, a lot of stores would choose to open it and sell the single cards versus sealed product because of margins and also it, it creates more of a local player base when everyone's trading, buying, and selling cards. All right, sorry to ramble so much on that. I wanted to get on the open. Okay, I know, I know. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so what I ended up doing is we removed, so each kit for the patrons... If you guys just like to listen, you know, if you're not interested in Patreon, you can shut the video off and everything, but I know a lot of you other just like to watch stuff. So each kit, we're doing two boxes instead of three. So I can increase the quantity of, of orders for, and it's limit one. No exceptions. You try to make a second order or space it out. You get flagged. You're going to lose them both. Um, 
two boxes. I removed the third box from each kit, and I added a second promo. And I'm going to give you my, my rationale here. Originally, this kit was supposed to be three boxes and one. Not There's each version, as you can see. Oh, my favorite, Mrs. Zelia here. Um, each one, there's a young hero and a regular ranger hero, which I thought was a good match for Arcane here. Originally, this kit was supposed to be like just this. It was supposed to be three boxes and one card. Uh, unfortunately, sorry, no batches of playmats right now. Everything's a mess, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, no playmats till Monarch. No new ones till Monarch. Monarch will have all the new stuff. So that was the original idea. But again, I was like, you know, that's a lot of unlimited when we can actually get it to more people versus having a bigger kit or a more expensive kit or whatever it is. So I thought it would be better to remove a regular player item and increase a collector item. So I thought it would be better so that literally each, so each patron, you have a one in four chance. You're either going to get the pretty much the young hero version of our beautiful Miss Ranger over here in Ace in the Hole, or you're going to get Kano over here, the young version, and of course the uh, regular Arcane version. Of course, you can see the codes at the bottom. If you guys are interested in looking these up on the uh, Legend Story Studios database, this one is the uh, Hero 16P, and this is 20P. You can see on here there's the 14, and of course 18. Uh, and of course, uh, my man over here, Vizera. Love it. Absolutely. And yes, I'm sorry. These are all rainbow foiled. These are not cold foiled in this particular batch. So you got rainbow foiled Vizera. You got the uh, promo Hero 15P. And you've got Hero 19P. Sorry, all the dust on here. That's why I'm keeping them sealed. I don't want them to get dusty or dirty. So each kit, you either get this, this. You have one and four. Sorry. Back in the day, as the patrons know, originally I was allowing patrons to order up to four kits. And if you bought four, you would get promos for each batch. I can't do that anymore because the demand is just, I have approximately, you know, I'm hoping by moving it to two boxes from three, I can do about a thousand kits versus like that six to eight hundred range. So increase the quantity of actual customers who can try the game out, especially for first time people who want to try it. Um, and even though you're not getting first edition collectors, investor items, but at least you're getting very pricey promos. Now, next part of this video I'm going to go into um, some people are going to probably pass, they'll be upset, and they'll be all negative. Oh, there's no cold foils, Rudy, I need a thousand dollars. Okay, well, yeah, you're probably not going to make a free thousand dollars on this kit, um, and that's okay. So, in this particular one, right now, and use this with a grain of salt, I'm going to give you the current market price on regular hero cards that are promos, that are rainbow foil, are averaging around a hundred dollars. These are about a hundred dollars a piece that sell on eBay. Personally, I think these should be worth about fifty to sixty per card on eBay for the regular. Now, the Young Heroes in promo foil version are actually averaging on eBay between $200 to $300 a card. I personally do not believe that is a correct or appropriate price for them. I believe the Young Heroes in a promo foil specialty version should be, honestly, they shouldn't be $200 to $300 a card. They should probably be like $100. Now, again, everyone's going to make fun of me because I said the same silly crap about Crazy Brew and it's like $1,000 and, it, you know, I, hey, but take it for what you're worth. So anyways, I wanted at least to let each patron have a chance to get playable cards for Unlimited and then still have something that's very spicy that holds financial value and collectible. I, I thought that was a better fit. So that is about it, folks. Um, a couple other little small things. So just, friendly, just to summarize it, two boxes per kit, and you will get one of these four packages. I don't, think, I don't know if there's really a financial value much different. Obviously, uh, the beautiful Ranger is always going to be my personal favorite over here. I think it's a stunning card. Followed by Dr. Uh, Visere. I think flipping just Steve Argyle just railed that out of the park, man. What an amazing art dude. Steve, you killed it on that, man. And, of course, my third favorite is actually going to be the old mechanologist, uh, old Dash over here. She is a beautiful young lady. And Kano, I'm not really much of a wizard fan. I love the border and the style, but I'm just not much of a fan of it. So that's what we're doing, folks. Um, unfortunately, yes, it's only open to patrons. I'm not going to be opening, selling these in the open market. Um, it's probably going to sell out stupidly quick, but I'm hoping that at least it lasts a little bit longer, limiting one per person and being able to make more kits. Very cool. I'm very excited. End of this video here. Really not much else to say. Uh, oh, I got a new pallet jack. I don't know if anybody cares about that. Uh, I thought that was pretty neat. I got a new pallet jack. I think that's cool. Does anybody else care? Um, but yeah, that's really about it. So again, friendly reminder to tell the difference. Look for the Unlimited on the boxes and cases. Um, and, I, and I know some people still think long-term Unlimited boxes could be investable and go up. That's between you guys to decide. I personally think these are for the players, and I don't think these should be $1,000 Unlimited in the future. So as always, enjoy the game, folks.